And as we say this, uh, we are starting here. So as I was saying before, this is our week three ETF2L Premiership game, 636 Autumn Season 2022. We are seeing League of Shadows versus TF2 Easy as we're coming to our first mid here. Yeah, Delhi is uh, in choke, just putting a little bit of damage down. Uh, but early, a lot of early aggression from League of Shadows getting those scouts on the point. Uh, Zoe's actually going to go down very, very quickly. Josh going in and getting a ton of damage. Gazi and Nubby cleaning everyone up as well. And it's actually a complete wipe there. TF2 easy, dominated with the auto, not even having to run up. And, uh, you know, just able to bait, sit at Big Door as his team just destroys everyone. Yeah, they played that so passive on the side of TF2 Easy, just keeping their medic in big the whole time, counting on that soldier aggression to do so much, and they did exactly what they needed to do. We're just getting people picked up one by one, and then Gazi and Nasboy came in to clean up, and that will be them coming in with this 100% Uber uh, into last. We'll see where they want to position themselves here. Morale is looking towards our shutter push, would be very standard here. Yeah, just peeking. Coming in actually from the balcony. It's gonna. They see the sentry gun, they do pop it out. Morel actually takes oh, a lot of damage and actually dies to the sentry gun. Doesn't get a flash at the tail end of it either. Josh feeds into the pyro as well. There is the opportunity to maybe play the point, but the demo man hasn't been touched at all. And they're just gonna have to back up Delhi nice and safe, sat behind the point. No pressure at all on him. That gun took so long to die there, and then, yeah, morale just got dropped. Dwo actually came in clutch because they couldn't really get out of spawn there. It looked like they might be able to just get on point and win, but Dwo comes in, kills Nas Boy for free. And now they're just able to convert onto second. They have that 100% uber advantage, just about 50% add here. Let's see what they want to want to do here. TF2 easy, pulls back on their side, so nothing too crazy. TF2 easy trying to get through that choke, but there's just two soldiers. They do pop through. Both soldiers out to Big Door though. I, looks like one might die, but Josh is the only casualty of this fight. And now TF2 Easy coming up with a 90% advantage here. Yeah, nice little elite prog situation for them. They're just going to build up the last little uh, bit of that Uber. And yeah, waiting. Maybe they'll wait for Josh to spawn. Looks like they're just chilling for now. They're probably going to want to start walking in. Nubby's found some space uh, in that banana area. They're not taking too much damage, there's not too much spam, they're very, very passive on the League of Shadows side. No hiders, soldiers, they won't be fully aware of that at the moment, but yeah, they've been able to walk in very clearly. Not really any threat on auto they're having to use, but June has also been building pretty nicely, so we'll see if they can take it in with the Oh, they do use Zoo second. here though, they know they have slight advantage, but the players on TF2 Easy have such good positioning here, and now they're about to get their Uber back. TF2 Easy's gonna have to run out here, but they are, they're so well positioned. Ron's even goes down. Uh, to a, a double bomb there. Uh, they do have to end up using here on the side of League of Shadows, but it doesn't look like they're gonna get it uh, much here. So yeah, as you were saying before, a big leap from Nasboy actually caught out though. This might be huge for the side of League of Shadows if they want to continue chasing here. And it looks like they do as Delhi already taking this pressure onto second. Otto's got this good positioning on the high. They really need to worry about the spawners here on the side of League of Shadows as Flick goes down early. Now June looks in a bad position as well. He's gonna manage to get out on just a sliver of health. No, actually dies at the very end there. So yeah, League of Shadows just over chasing a little bit there. Got a bit confident they could get that uh, that medic pick there, Dave. That forward spawn came in clutch. It was to both. Oh my God, Zoe was hiding in Banana. Picks up auto as they try to walk in. But yeah, it was those two soldiers on second were, were hugely important. They got the spawn just before mid was capped. Came in clutch in the fight, cleaned up June, but you know they've taken mid for it, but they have lost auto, so no opportunity for League of Shadows to turn it back in their favor. Yeah, they're taking it through big door here. Early bomb in through Rons. They'll find no one here on the mid, overly contesting it. Nasboy looking like he wants to do a little bit, and now he's got his heels. And actually, they look like they might have to back out here on League of Shadows. They've yeah. only really got Flick here on the midpoint. Actually, it's going back and forth, back and forth. These teams understand uh, the pressure and, and the, uh, the things they can and can't be doing. It's about 10% add here on the side of League of Shadows. They're quite an aggressive team. Do you think they might try to go for something here? I think they probably imagine it's like a lot closer. I think at one point it was pretty damn close in terms of Uber percentages, so I don't think they'll be pick, pushing off this. But at the moment, yeah, the setup for TF2 Easy is very nice. So like, that you that Ron's is already yeah. through. They're already trying to pressure here for free. TF2 Easy's playing so far back, just giving this ground up for free. It's even Ubers now, and that's boy has gone down. It looks like Gazi might as well. So now that's two players down side of TF2 Easy, and they're just chasing in deep here. They managed to get Josh as well. 
Couple players weak, but now it's only really morale and auto as the Ubers do get popped out very early for TF2 Easy. And now morale's chasing so deep. Auto has to get onto the point there to block it from the capping. And now it's just absolute collapse here. They get early bodies on point, and that is the first round towards League of Shadows here, Dave. Yeah, it looks decent for TF2 Easy. They were close to the Uber, they had nice high ground positioning, but they were just baited in that choke. They use up all their ammo, shooting at nothing. And you know, the flooding from League of Shadows was excellent and a well deserved round. Yeah, really well time for them just to catch him on that tiny little bit of ad and then manage to pick someone out. But we do see another mid coming. These soldiers very aggressive on the uh, the side of League of Shadows. Managed to get too much yet here. Soldiers traded for soldiers. They've now uh, returned sides. So he goes down to now the pick slightly going towards the side of League of Shadows. It does look like TF2 Easy are going to hedge their bets and just you know, chill out here on the second a little bit. They don't really have too much to worry about. They have enough players just to, to hold this and know their swans are going to come up in time. Yeah, not the best focus fire there from TF2 Easy because don't oh, be out <laughs> Sorry, he just jumped no, through Joe's train yeah, to stickies. Unfortunate for him, but yeah, Nabi hit a nice uh, little air shot onto. Uh, Delhi, but it, it wasn't finished up. Gazi ran in and just ended up focusing it in a scout 1v1 rather than the a single digit health depot man, so didn't quite work out there. And we'll see what they want to do for Sax here. Josh going down here. Ron's in a good position to try to get something. So he does jump through, try to make some pressure here. Ah, but he's, he's just getting spammed out, and this medic allowed to go so far. Oh, oh. <gasps> Auto! That was crazy! That is nowhere that man should be able to live. That is an absolute robbery there. A crazy, crazy air shot from Rons there. Doesn't manage to get the medic here. And they are now two players down on the side of League of Shadows. But they don't want to give it up for free. They know they can trade and get their spawners here. The Uber does come out onto morale. June, uh, Uber's much later. Is onto the demo of Delhi here. But they will be chasing here. Morale wants to stay in though. And Auto actually might get caught out from this. And he does in the end. They're going to need to go for June now. These last remaining players do manage to get Delhi for their troubles. And Gazi actually still being a nuisance. It does eventually go down, but this is looking very good for League of Shadows now. Yeah, beautiful arrows from Juno to Rons as well, but slightly questionable kind of Uber trade into mid there. I don't... We saw it a few times last week as well from TF2 Easy when they were struggling. They were just kind of trading Ubers when you know, there was no real seeming purpose behind it, no real advantage to be gained, and... Uh, Talk about advantage gain. The advantage gain was very much for League of Shadows there, who just dominated that uh, post trade situation. Yeah, they did a really good job there, but we might see a bit of a different story here as it's going to be League of Shadows trying to push into last against a full defense here. They're not going to have Uber on the side of TF2 Easy, but they are going to have a notorious pyro in Gazi as they just take it in quite deep for free. Do eventually use this gun's going to go down, but this soldier's already so deep in getting over to this left side, but can't get onto point until these stickies are deaded here and now this is just going to allow TF2 Easy to start coming out. They've got two picks already. Make that a third. Only losing Nubby in this fight and that will be the rest of League of Shadows having to leave all the way here. Bit of a fail push there, Dave. Yeah, Josh just sitting in secret getting easy kills with uh, horizontal rockets. Uh, built up a decent amount of conch as well in that post uh in, sorry that hold situation so he's already up to 62 percent conch so probably won't be able to get it in time for this push but they're going to be able to use an uber to get through this choke point if they even have to at the moment they're just trying to bait it they're just trying to walk in without using but there is a lot of spam coming down there's a lot of threat uh molex is run in and oh just gets taken down there by sticky and the uber's evening up june already on 90 percent they're going to want to take it so deep and morale actually gets dropped uh, there and now it's only really Nas Boy Auto and Gazi alive. Gazi does manage to get that force out, but they're going to be chasing so so deep to try to get this medic pick here. The, the soldier of Ronz is in. He gets a nice first rocket, and that's Auto down. And they're really struggling here on TF2 Easy. Uh, they're trying to get in for free on these mids, but it doesn't seem like it's working. Yeah, they're punished so hard there for not having the scout to run Auto out. He had to just hobble out at normal medic speed. It is very very easy for him to be caught. Uh, they've tried to push in here though, a League of Shadows, they've thrown away a few lives for it, but the important thing is they have kept June alive so they're going to be able to recycle that uber advantage situation. 
Yeah, a bit of over-aggression there, but it looks like TF2 easy. Already want to push out aggressively here. They're already uh, trying to take, you know, all this space in Big Door that they can uh, from the side of Liga Shadows. But it looks like they're going to hedge their bats again. Just hedge back. They saw they had Swarners coming in for Liga Shadows. And now it's a full Uber push. So there's not going to be a gun up in time. Gazi does manage to get on this Pyro. Um, it's only going to be what looks like a level 1 here. But side TF2 easy. Looks like it might be a Shutter's push. Um, again here for League of Shadows. Oh, those stickies nearly got both picks there. Does have to use the Uber onto Delhi here. Gun goes down early. Uh, they do take down Josh in secret this time, which is a big pain in their backside before. Uh, Nas Boy manages to get out there. Might be really bad. Ron's going down as well. And whoa, League of Shadows just can't quite get a break here. June manages to get out. It's really good. But now uh, TF2 easy. Full Uber advantage, and they're probably going to get second for free here, Dave. Yeah, they don't seem to be exactly certain what they're wanting to do on these Bush and League of Shadows because they've got the soldier in secret, the soldier under they have to deal with, and Nazboy was just sitting in spawn. So the demo pick and then playing the point was never in question because Nazboy was playing in spawn, and they couldn't really commit to killing both those soldiers in a single Uber. At the moment, they're just really, really uncertain. Yeah, maybe we'll see them mix something up next time. Just see if they can. They can improve that push, but it feels so hard. And as I'm saying all this, Anuba comes through drop down, and I don't even see it. But they do use that. Only Ron's the only casualty of that fight. And I think, uh, sorry, Ron's and Zoe. Uh, but Zoe was on sniper. The only casualties here. But the Uber is now going to be flip flopping once again back onto the side of League of Shadows. TF2 Easy going to be wanting to go for a sack or something. They're putting a lot of pressure into Big Door here. Three players here just trying to look for a play, trying to look for a pick. Thought maybe Nubby was going to go behind, but Zoe actually gets picked out by nice traps uh, by Nasboy. And there is a soldier in Josh. He does go down. He was trying to pressure behind. Now Gazi and Nubby both behind. Two on one on Rons. This poor man. He can't. Uh, he can't get a second to himself. He's going to live on a sliver of health. And actually, Dwo picks him up. I can't believe they didn't. Uh, they didn't chase for that pick here. Nubby is still in behind though. They're just wasting so much time here, Dave. Yeah, they are wasting the time, but the good thing for League of Shadows is that they have kept hold of the Uber, and now they have got a couple of picks, so you know, even if the Uber advantage is dwindling, they have got something to work with. They're trying to muscle their way through Big Door. A lot of spam coming down from Nazboy is going to be putting down damage on them, but the water has been able to build up this Uber. Uh, players traded out, but Delhi getting picked up is really, really bad news for League of Shadows. They want to stay, they want to trade it out onto Flick. It's counted onto both Morale. And that's by a little bit of flushing there, but at the end of the day, actually, Mariah's able to walk in through the choke. He gets the tail end of that Uber to get in. They've got a lot of space now in this choke area, and he, Mariah definitely wants more here. Nubby wants more as well. He's going to find a nice little high ground position. Mariah's still on the chase onto Rons. They clean a couple of others up on the flank as well, so momentum suddenly in TF2 Easy's favour. Absolutely, that tiny little bit of extra Uber just got so much for TF2 Easy. Slow morale to get through, keep rushing that medic and make uh, June change their positioning all the way back. And I do know TF2 Easy quite notoriously good at these uh, these last pushes. Um, but there's an aggressive flick already. They don't want to give up any of this space. They know it's even Ubers. Uh, they know they have to. Uh, it's just a very hard push here for the side of TF2 Easy. But that gun going down does give a soldier an opportunity. Um, to get something. Dwo going down early might be just what they need here uh, to send Josh in. But Gazi goes down to some nice sticky traps and that will be all she wrote from a push. TF2 easy but looks like Franz <laughs> does a huge bomb in. Tries to go super deep but can't quite find the position on auto as he lives. Um, there And now it's on the side of TF2 easy to try to do something here Dave. Yeah, flashy jump from Rons, but sadly only one rocket left to do anything and not going to kill a medic with a single rocket, sadly. But yeah, interesting to see such a different kind of setup from this League of Shadows side. Just everyone playing on the high ground as much as possible, no one playing under. Uh, so it allows Gazi some space and he, yeah, he's finding the pyro. space on Pyro, yeah. Taking it into water, already getting these stickies off. Uh, Nubby does get a tiny bit of cap time, but goes down very, very quickly there to the sentry gun. Uh, and Dwo watching point, I believe. And now two players down on the side of TF2, easy, but they do sack one on the side of uh, League of Shadows. So I think there's going to be another reset here, Dave. Yeah, and now Flick is on the pyro himself, just uh, patrolling. You see the pyro face-to-face uh, -face matchup going down this riverside. Gazi again finding space. He's just allowed to roam under. They're happy to have him play under. He's 
very adept oh. at playing the point that he's already so doing much so. Time with that pain train, though. That's very scary. Yeah, they've got about half of the cap going, but they've had to throw two players away for it. The engineer means it's going to be. They've got some safety back on last, but it is also, you know, no scout here to push out to, you know, in a transitional situation. If it was to come down to it, the having no scout would be a big disadvantage there, but overall it's just going to settle down. They're not going to be able to make too much happen with the two picks. And the spawners came in very uh, short fashion, and we're back to the stalemate. Yeah, it looks like they want to stay on this Gazi Pyro though. If they, they're they doing the exact same play, but look, they get a little more cap time every time. And if League of Shadows doesn't really, uh, you know, watch out, this could go very wrong here. And look, the Sticky's already being blown off the point. Nubby gets on, but it's instantly blocked here. And they both go down once again. Rons is very aggressive, trying to get a pick onto Nasboy. It actually takes him quite low. And I can't manage to quite get that pick, unfortunately. Let's see if they want to do, uh, do some aggression here, or if they're just going to wait for a round reset. Only two minutes remaining here. Only two really good pushes left for TF2 Easy. Uh, and it looks like Nubby's actually coming up on Sniper, and we are back on the scout of Gazi. Yeah, obviously with those, you know, you want to use those two picks, you want to go aggressive with it, but you're, you're also stuck on two slow, lumbering defensive classes, and, you know, Delhi just wants to go set back up those sticky traps, and as you say, play for the, the that that win, almost win condition that they have of the two minute round reset, whether we'll go back to another mid. Oh, Rons and Duo go down. Oh, they do manage to trade out for the, uh, the sniper and scout though, but it's a little bit scary. They do have quite a lot longer spawns here um, on the side of League of Shadows, and there's already a scout trying to get on the back cap. A good spam from that boy manages to get Zoe, but it doesn't look like it's gonna really give them too much more here, but this is always a little bit scary here. Uh, when you're only free up on last. Luckily, that sentry gun might as well count as a fourth player. Yeah, definitely. That's point for the first time finding a lot of space in the river. Rons is now finding space in lobby. He's able to pick up Nazboy, and it's allowing uh, Flick actually to get quite aggressive. Rons is back in here, so they're going to have to back up. They don't have a demo to hold it down, but we'll see whether here League of Shadows want to push out or they just want to sit here for another 50 seconds and go to a road reset. Well, I don't think they can really do that when Gazi has just gone into water uh, once yep. more. This man must be really hydrated right now because that is where he's been this entire last push. Yeah, he's certainly going to be burning that, that water up. He's going to be evaporating the water. No longer on the map, obviously, a, a big uh, thing from back in the day of Gully Wasp, but maybe so many pyros are They're distracted here, and has got onto point. So much cat time! Oh. oh my gosh, and they force out the Uber for that. It is a trade. Uh, luckily, and Flick is managing to keep them in spawn, but I think he might be out of ammo. <laughs> oh no, he's not quite, but... And they, yeah, they just managed to get a player on point. They, they like, forgot about him for that entire time. <laughs> yeah, I think he just baited a little bit, and they probably assumed he just got instantly cleaned up the way he had the previous four or five times they tried it, but this, because he wasn't killed immediately, they, they as you say, they just forgot about him. He's able to walk onto a second time, and they got so much cap time, they're able to get the force out. Yeah, but we are onto our third mid. That's 1-1 one, one towards both teams. Uh, we are seeing Nasboy go down early there. Duo does eventually trade, and Auto actually dies to a nice one from Bronze. Does get eventually cleaned up. June going down as well, late to Josh there. But it does look like League of Shadows have the numbers here, maybe, to fight this. Arouse one health, Gazi's one health. Can he clean up here, Zoe? Try to get oh. this last player, he could not. Takes a rocket from Josh and Morale manages to hit that lovely little last shot to take him down. So, out of what I thought was a pretty clean looking start, that fight towards League of Shadows, they actually end up losing it. Yeah, they're a little bit scattered. Uh, it's very easy for Josh to go in and get that pick through drop down, and then did a lot of work at the tail end of that, just fighting super long range rockets. I don't know how much damage he did at that range, but he was a at least, you know, providing a nuisance and allowed Morale to win that 1v1, which otherwise he probably wouldn't have. Yeah, those little 50 damage spam rockets can really come in clutch uh, when all you need is, you know, one extra shot to, uh, to kill the players. But now they're going to be uh, setting up a quite close on second here, but I don't think they quite realise how big of an advantage this is for TF2 Easy. They're coming in and only 70% from June. Just trying to get out here, but there's so many players coming in from here and uh, there and everywhere. Gazi takes it down at two in this fight as well. Also being chased so deep, but Rons can't quite find the shots here. He's got one last attempt, and so he gets taken down. Auto oh, but Flick! Flick manages to get in here. He's trying to be a nuisance, trying to get these last couple of players. Morale could be a pick from here. 
than he actually is. And now he only has Nubby to care about. But Nubby is not going to give that out for free. It gives him the taunt for good measure here. But I think League of Shadows might be... Uh, I was going to say, it might be trying to fight this. Delhi looks like he's the only one looking back at his medic saying, can we please push this? Can we please get these free picks? Unfortunately, TF2 Easy already on the point by then. Now it's going to be a last hold once more. TF2 Easy in the driving seat again. I have really like that what they're doing here on the, uh, the side of TF2 Easy, but they don't have those off classes this time. What do you think they might go for here, Dave? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised me if Gazoo was just to do the same kind of thing. There's someone to scout. Obviously, he has a little bit more cat power, even if he can't air blast stuff. But I, at the moment, they're just sitting outside building Uber. But you know, with uh, with uh, the water always being open, with the Riverside not really being locked out by League of Shadows, you've always got to have that as a, as an option in the back of your mind that they could just easily sneak a player under, and it provides so much of a threat of the cap. Yeah, absolutely, and I think that's what we might be seeing as Gazzy's already taken his way down into water. Uh, looks like he... Oh, I was going to say he instantly wants to go on the point now. He's baiting here. He's taking his time. He knows, the, he knows there's no rush here. Uh, but we'll see where the start of TF2 Easy wants to go. Uh, really is the big thing. Do they want to go shutters again? That worked quite well for them last time. Do they want to keep going river. And actually, Dwo just decides to go in and kill Gazzy before he can even get close. Uh, there is Nubby in, but he's being instantly fought by Rons. They do end up trading out. Rons not quite hitting that perfect second rocket. But now TF2 Easy can't really do much. And we are now kind of at that ZZZ stalemate time once again, Dave. Yeah, unfortunately, as we've reiterated many times, the double off class means it's basically not an opportunity to push out. Probably pushing out on one pick wouldn't be great either way. But yeah, League of Shadows are... <laughs> The, the problem for them is that the, the condition for which they're going to be able to push out from here is they're setting a really high for bar themselves. Probably a drop coming out from Auto, or you know at least a force, but at the moment, you know, Auto's just playing so safe, so far back. Uh, it's, you know, they're able to provide a lot of pressure, just throw you know, two players in, and they, they know there's really no threat of League of Shadows coming back at them. Yeah, absolutely. You can just play so passive on this map, but you know, if you overextend for one second, get caught about one trap, your whole push is basically doomed. There's so many uh, doorways to go through and so many little hiding spots on Gully Watch. It's always a risk to try to do that. We did say one, see one failed push uh, while you were talking there. Gazi is poised up in river, looking to go into his favourite watering hole. He's like a gazelle. Uh, actually, they back out. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe just going for a buff, but it's going to be TF2 easy having to go for a. Uh, for another play here. Dwo does have this conch though. So this might be a bit of a, a difference maker in uh, in a push out fight if they do get something good. And actually, a uh, bomb comes in onto June. Double bomb. Oh. Actually, June gets dropped there. That gun, not in a great position to deny those uh, those jumpers there, Dave. Yeah, just finding a really nice bomb just over the over the head of the gun so the gun couldn't spin around and shoot fast enough and no reflex coming in from the pyro flick, I think it was as well. So just finding a, a crucial little drop there and now they have full advantage to push they're gonna want to take this because it's starting to run the clock down here and Duo has forgotten that you can hold the conch and has, uh, <laughs> has just used it and then shaken his head in frustration with himself um, but yeah they will have to defend last year they've poised the sentry gun in a bit of a different position uh, really good to watch water here everybody's uh, uh, but it's very spammable from main and balcony I think that's what might happen as the uber does come in here Straight through Shutter's gun taken down relatively quickly. Morale still has Uber. Wants to go over onto Delhi here, but just edge capping it for free. No one can stop him, and he's just getting so much cap time. Gazi, one alive. And this Pootis has to do so much against free here. This is a very difficult situation to be in. And June, now the only one alive, does eventually go down. And that will be 2 1 towards tier 2 easy. With a relatively clean push there. Relatively clean. It definitely looked cagey uh, for a minute, but yeah, they just did enough they you know forced them down onto the point the scouts really you know we just played so aggressive just threw their lives away but you know it allowed everyone everyone converged on the point of the, the focus right down it was nice to see yeah, it doesn't seem to matter when you have 99 percent tight cap time really as the uh, bombs do come in early here nubby and josh going so aggressive uh, do manage to take down some key picks on both sides actually and now only Gazi are left on tf2 easy is a very quick set of uh bombs and trades there uh from both teams 
Yeah, Joe and Ron's just all over the place, just finding plays in their own big door and then jumping in and just nailing also. Beautifully done from that, nicely in sync and that's irresistible aggression and you know, now suddenly they have the advantage. They're gonna you know, they're gonna need to make the most of it because they are now suddenly a round down. But as we say, uh been a while since we've really seen uh, this situation for League of Shadows has been a while they're since they've been on the They're going so aggressive on the side of TF2 easy. They might even find Delhi early here. They don't manage to get him and actually Morale goes down here. And now it's going to be the rest of League of Shadows going so aggressive. Flake does get dropped here. There is a gun that's watching points. There's really no chance for Rons and Zoe to get anything here. And somehow this awful looking fight is turning around a little bit on the side of TF2 easy. Because I see this. The gun goes down. Delhi so aggressive in. They're just trading back and forth, back and forth. Nubby on the point, managed to get two nice rockets. Nassboy coming in for the assist, and now June is going to be caught. Does have to die eventually, oh, but oh, they just can't quite convert here on the side of League of Shadows. Yeah, it was huge from uh, Morale just to run in with the pyro, catch them unawares. They would not expect them to be that aggressive, get the force out. Joe and... hiding here. Joe's hiding behind the point here. No one spotted him. He's walking around, gets a nice first rocket, but they all turn around. Can't quite manage to get auto there. Yeah, because there's a lot of damage though. Everyone's so, so weak. They're going to have to all take arrows and they still going to be a while before they're all buffed up. But it looks, they're just buying a little bit of time. June's still nowhere near this Uber. So they're going to have to set up on mid at a disadvantage knowing that Uber could come in any time from auto. But uh, they're just chilling at the moment. They're really just waiting, not wanting to push. I don't know if they've miscounted the Ubers or they would have played the fact there's only three minutes left, but at the moment they're, they're really just letting June build this Uber up. Yeah, I think TF2 Easy definitely playing the time here. I think they knew that if they walked through there and didn't have a great Uber like they have done a few times in this game, then they could very easily get a, uh, you know, around here, uh, a snowball effect from the side of League of Shadows, so I think they're just chilling, they're just poised here, Morale watching the choke, a lot of players looking towards Big Doll, they just want League of Shadows to come in and make a mistake here, as an early bomb does come in from Rons, can't quite connect and find that pick and does eventually get taken down by, by Morale, Dwo also came in for a sack, can't manage to get anything and this might be the opportunity they need uh, from the side of TF2 Easy to go for something, as Nassboy already looking at that choke, Soldier through uh, in the name of Josh, Gatti's also under. They have so much to worry about here uh, on the side of League of Shadows. But now it just looks like it's Gazi alone making time. He's trying to get out of Big Door, but will get picked out eventually. Really strange stuff from TF2 Easy. Now suddenly they've lost two players. They're stuck back on second. They're stuck all on the high ground as well. They're uh, going to get pinned in, going to get squished. They're probably going to get forced out. Although they're much earlier Uber actually out of League of Shadows. So Auto's going to have... Uh, longer Uber onto Morale is going to probably find Flick at the end of this June stuck caught in as well. The collapse is coming in though. Auto's cleaned up. Josh is cleaned up. Morale, Nubby all down. This is one up. Uh, it's Gazi is going to have to run back to last. Got one spawn on Nazboy, but uh, they really turned it around there, League of Shadows, because of the, the feeding that happened on mid. Yeah, absolutely. I think they would maybe just a little out of coordination there. Rons goes down early, wanted to try to go for something cheeky at the start. Maybe he thought if he got that Nazboy pick, then his spawners could come in and just get on point for free. But now only a minute 50 left remaining in this game. Ubers are even. It's just going to be a very difficult fight here for League of Shadows to take, Dave. Yeah, no, crit screen. Crit screen would have been an interesting uh, option, certainly for June here, but just going to trust that they can break this now. They can either build faster or make a trade or something happened with, with as I say, only, only a minute 30 left. And yeah, not, not, no, oh, in fact, Zoe coming up as a sniper. They're looking for an angle for Zoe just to peek in from lower. Uh, find some spam coming in from Ron's flick going under as well. Just providing a little bit of distraction, trying to bait that medic out into that sight line. Zoe taking an age to peek. Has played it very, very slow, waiting for the team. It's a, it's a set-up play, and now Zoe is peeking, going to find actually a shot towards Nubby, but oh, finds a shot goes down. Oh, that's a crazy shot. This could be round turning here. Flick does go down. They have 50 seconds left. I think they'll probably wait for their spawner here uh, oh. before going to Nassboy as well. Zoe's popping off. This is exactly the picks they need. They're going towards River here on the side of TF2 Easy. 
Ah, oh, just looking to see what they can get. They need to, they know they need to wait for Flick here though. Otherwise they've just got no one to get that cap time. Bronze goes into uh, Riverhead, trying to spam this gun out early. Uber is used for as soon as Flick comes here. Gun goes down early. They need to take this over point and get stuck in cap time. Nubby is here though. And look, so many players able to come in, but they actually get around. The they couldn't all get on point. Yeah, so many spawners. There were no stickies on the point. There were the heavy was a bit too late as well, and they just walked their way in. They used enough of the Uber. Didn't get all the kills, but they got the position. The players on the point had enough health. Uh, as those spawners came in, wasn't quite enough. What crazy stuff from Zoe there. I think he even got auto once again in that last fight, by the way. <laughs> so he was absolutely, uh, you know, on that medic hunt duty. That is, that is so clutch from them, uh, from uh, League of Shadows there, Dave. Yeah, crucial. Just, as you say, clutch from Zoe. They were very, very patient. They set it up for ages. It was really funny to see Zoe wait so long to peek. And they just take a random pot shot at the point, but then still find the clutch kind of uh, scrambled flick headshot onto the medic. Just uh, it proves that not only you know how important the set plays are, but you know also just coming in with the, the clutch moment of just insane mechanics. Uh, that's uh, that's what that one came down to. Yeah, that pop off ability is definitely always, always, always a factor uh, in these sort of games. Uh, when they're when they're this close and you know what I don't know 50 50 chance really for Zoe to go big there but does manage to this time and really playing the time well and then they just they had it I was really impressed um when they just waited they knew they had 50 seconds they knew they had time to wait for flick to get into that fight um and yeah that was definitely the right decision from them and they just haven't managed to get that gun pretty soon after and then, yeah, just managed to get uh, so much cap time so early. So, yeah, really well played uh, from League of Shadows. But I think we have uh, we have some numbers here. Uh, Dave, if you've uh, you've seen anything of interest. Uh, I mean, it just looks very close all the way through to 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 kills. Like, no one, you know, having a, having a shocker. No one really standing out massive. Uh, Nubby, you know, getting the top of damage. But overall, just... Everyone seems to have showed up. It's been you know, a couple of mistakes, a couple of inspired moments, but uh, very, very close stuff so far. Yeah, really close from both sides. You just look down these logs and they just like basically, uh, basically the same, uh, really. Everyone doing very well, everyone playing their part. Uh, Gazzy on the top frag, if anyone cares, but only by one kill to Zoe. So the flank scouts surprisingly doing a huge amount here, Dave. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that's too much of a surprise. Uh, flag scout on Gully Wash, it is it is the class you're relying on a lot, particularly, you know, going mid to second. And, you know, scout is always going to get a ton of frags. You often have opportunities when it gets messy to just join back and get a little bit of healing from your medic and uh, frag out in those kind of messy situations. So probably not too surprising that the, the flag scouts are going hard. but. Yeah, yeah. really the only difference maker we can see in these logs as they've just been uh, pulled up on screen is a very tiny, tiny medic diff of one Uber. And that one Uber is what mattered uh, in the end of that game. Yeah, one death between them, uh, one Uber difference, both one drop. So uh, as we say, just even Stevens just pretty much as close as it could be. Yeah, well, uh, we're going to see who's, uh, whose prediction was right here, Dave. It's going to be a 3-2, but who is it going to be a 3-2-2? Two, two? We'll have to see, but yeah. As we are saying this, the last and final round is going to be Golden Cap, tf 2 Easy versus League of Shadows. We'll see what they want to do. Duo coming in early, looking up for that choke, wanted to find a demo early, but he rolled out through Big Door. Ron's getting some early aggression. They're playing so passive on the side of tf 2 Easy. They lose morale, do trade for Zoe. Gazzy being a little bit of a pain under, but now all these players just dying one by one on the side of TF2 Easy. It's only Auto alive, and he's probably going to be chased down here. Uh, Duo is on the chase. A nice arrow might just let him live here, though. League of Shadows, if they go quick enough, they might be able to get something. Yeah, Duo didn't have the health there to chase, and also had a nice high ground position. It was far back enough that there was no threat of him dying, but they do still have a bit of advantage. They're not 
you know, really utilizing it. They've taken the foot off the pedal a little bit, so they're probably just going to settle for taking control a second and uh, even that out, making sure they're setting up. And as we say, we they haven't really been in this situation so much uh, in, in the game too much, uh, at least, you know, certainly since the first couple of minutes of the game. So it's going to be interesting to see if uh, there's any more ideas from League of Shadows in terms of breaking this. Oh, Nast Boy gets a nice pipe. Can't quite uh, find the finisher. As that happens, Delhi actually takes down the sentry. So this is a good opportunity to try to turn someone into water as they do Zoe. But Nubby already poised up here, making it so difficult for anyone uh, to get in here. Zoe does go in, but uh, taken down on a trade. But Josh and Nast Boy going down as well. Flick goes in, manages to get this force. And June already in a great position all the way back here in River um, to not get forced here. And now this is looking really, really good for the side of League of Shadows. See if Too Easy really has to try to go for something here. They're going so aggressive in here already. Big bomb that comes through, but actually Delhi hits the pipe onto Nubby. He's denied super hard. Somehow still alive here. Does eventually oh. go down, but June died to that last rocket. Yeah, he just about finds it. There was no scout defense for June there. They played a little bit too aggressive. They obviously thought TF2 Easy were back on last, but they did end up getting caught out. June gets caught out by a nice fadeaway, but Rocket from Nubby. And now there's still an opportunity for Ron to maybe find something in the water, but he has to as leave. It is, yeah, it's, it's all beat to an out, sadly. This has been such a feed fest at the very end there. They needed to go for something on the side of Liga Shadows, but couldn't find a single pick here. And now it's completely turned directions here, just from that one bomb from Nubby. Yeah, but uh, all it required, just finding that nice little rocket and suddenly 100% up for Auto June, still at 50, so it's going to be a while not going to be too important in this next engagement, you imagine. But uh, they're trying to come in through the choke area. That's boy finding some space. Josh providing a little bit. And they're actually going to have to pop it out. It's on to Morale. Yeah, Ron goes it's down. Not too Josh much going so deep. Manages to find Zoe and Duo as well go down. Three down from League of Shadows. They are going to be having this Uber, but with this three player disadvantage um, on defense on seconds, could be really, really difficult here, Dave. Yeah, that's huge from Josh. I thought there wasn't going to be anything for to find, but he finds two. And that's pretty nuts. Uh, the one guy hiding Big Door was caught out as well. So, as you say, three picks has allowed them to just walk in. They want to contest it here. Yeah, League of Shadows, but it's so risky. They know, they know they have the app, but they just don't have the players here. And Rons goes down, the Ubers are uh, used out, and they're just not in position to get a single pick here from the side of League of Shadows. They actually managed to get morale and Nubby from a nice bomb behind from Toy, but I think that might be all they get here. There's already 80% Uber for, uh, for Auto here as their position in this big door area. Uh, might have to back out here, not really getting the position they want. That's probably doesn't want to give it out though. He wants that little pick on uh, on Delhi. Yeah, Zoe trying to walk in, trying to utilize the couple of picks to find some space, but was denied by Josh. And now Auto is, as you say, coming up to 100% there. Posturing up at Choke. They've got a lot of players around Choke, actually. Uh, Josh is going to jump in. He's going to find damage down onto Rons. Can't quite move up. He sneaks around the corner, but they've got their way in through Choke here. Morale now up on the high ground. Nubby's trying to pick up the Zoe. going down as well. That's well. a chase in for Delhi in free mate. Oh my god, Delhi managed to get it, but does eventually get traded out. It was coming up even, but having no demo man here is a huge disadvantage on Gully Wash. It looks like they are going to try to Uber here through Shutters June. Uses much later here. Does have to flash a little bit. Now Flick oh. actually overextends and gets caught there. June is just having to run all the way back. And now Duo going down as well. This is looking very promising. But actually two plays come back in. And that pain trade. Nubby's getting so much cap time. Now it's just Josh on the point, And it's just such a crumble. Gazzy is still alive here though. He's a sort of guy who might try to go for something here. But no. He knows it's safe to get his medic out to uh, to choke here. Oh, but just the, the plays are looking so good. On both sides and then crumbling from one tiny little play. Yeah, I thought they would be able to take that after the trade went pretty well with no spotty block from auto, but the soldiers they got very, very close to capping it out, but it wasn't quite enough and uh even you know, the damage down onto June wasn't capitalizing in just a single arrow from auto might have been enough, but auto did perhaps play the smarter play the percentages, get himself back out and as you say it's only ten percent disadvantage here, so uh, not, not a disastrous scenario at all. Yeah, not really an uber advantage to uh, to shout about here, honestly. 
But now, this is a really difficult point, I feel, to get into if you are League of Shadows. I feel if you're TF2 easy, you maybe have a few more options. You've got always got, you know, sending someone behind, trying to get someone through Big Door. Um, or just trying to bust that choke and just trying to flood multiple players in. Um, it's a lot harder for the side of uh, League of Shadows. Uh, we do have wrong config, uh, apparently. Yeah, we got the classic 30 minute config. Now we changed down to the 15 of the uh, gold, standard golden cup. And yeah, always half the time up already, neither team finding a decisive advantage so far. Uh, but as it is coming in, in through the big door, finding a lot of space, Nazboy just pounding stickies at Ooh, long range. Oh, a nice sticky onto June, and the bomb comes in from Nubby. It's a nice oh. two rockets. Managed to drop him, June just not in a great position there. As soon as that demo man's allowed to walk past, just gets an easy, easy sticky. And then Nubby's in for free, and that could be a huge round decider here. Yeah, everyone was looking at everyone stacked up in big oh, door, but they weren't, weren't prepared for Nubby. And now, coming through choke very, very easily. They still have hundred as June spawned, so it's absolutely full advantage. Second is not up for contesting anymore as well. It's going to be an uber advantage push for last to take the round and take an extra point on this map. Yeah, this is pretty much as ideal as it could be here for TF2 Easy to try to push in. We know they have good pressure here. This sentry gun could be an issue if not spammed down early, but they do come in here. Ron's very aggressive. Isn't getting picked up yet. Does eventually go down. They do lose Nubby in this fight though, so it's even players. Flick gets out on this pyro. The Josh is doing so, so much. That's what you say, this everyone else has gone down. It's just yeah. morale stuck in water here. Don't think he's going to be able to do too much on his own as Zoe. He just needs to get one or two clean little meat shots on here. But morale, Timmy two shot over here, uh, manages to uh, to actually win that fight. Now, this is going to be quite difficult for League of Shadows, I would think. Yeah, great job just buying a lot of time. League of Shadows wanted to move out to second, but Delhi's been caught. Maybe he behind Nubby. Nubby finds enough damage down onto him. But in the meantime, Rod has been picked up and choked while everyone was scrambling around the big door area. And now there's space in choke. They're just spamming down the point. The point's nowhere near being capped, and everyone's stuck on the low ground here. League of Shadows is very easy for them to force the Uber out. Gas is still running in behind. Gonna take him a while to be cleaned up. Josh will probably go down. He finds a, a trade frag out onto Zoe which is very, very important. No, suddenly it's only one pick and Auto will soon be coming up to Uber. Yeah, that's all that Josh really could have hoped for there, but League of Shadows does not want to stop here. Flick does get taken down, which might be really good, but they're trading a couple of players on both teams here. But TF2 easy playing this so safe, safe here. They just want, no, they've got this full Uber advantage. They can wait for their spawners, play this methodically. This is how they play best, is when they play slow, they play methodical. And now we'll see. Uh, We'll see how they do here. They do come through choke, relatively uncontested here. League of Shadows does want to give this up for free though. Zoe, Ron's up here a little bit. But it does look like they just end up giving up for free. And now they're just going to chase so deep. 80% Uber for June is really going to want to try to get this here as Uber does come in through main. A bigger bomb onto this right side. Morale just wants to find this demo man. But there's no one really around to contest it. But already getting so much cap time here. The Uber does come out for June, manages to clutch up and get it, but these two soldiers and a scout still alive for TF2 Easy could be a big difference maker here. The both soldiers are in and huge damage. There's only two left alive. And that will be TF2 Easy clutching up that round, taking in the free uh yeah, free two golden cap. So Dave, you were correct. Yeah, uh correct prediction. Certainly not exactly how I expected it to go, but yeah, as we saw, TF2 Easy clutching it out and you know. As you're right. You're certainly right to point out, you know, how well they played that. They they didn't panic when they they saw that aggression coming in from mid. They just kited it back beautifully and, and took it back in. And it was their transition was was better than Liga Shadows' transition. Liga Shadows went back to last. They didn't contest second, but they didn't get any any off classes up on that last point. And if they'd had a, a heavy a clutch moment, or if they'd already had you know a level two gun up, it it might have made the difference. But uh, sadly, they, they weren't able to get that off-class up in time, and it made that, that last push just a little bit easier for TF2 easy, and they, they obliged to take it. Yeah, I think you are correct in in that, but yeah, just messy from both teams. Much, much closer than I think uh, I think you would expect. Um, seeing the last time these guys played, it was a bit of a, a, bit of a roll towards TF2 easy, so either... You know, League of Shadows are playing out of their mind today, or uh, Tiff Easy maybe a little out of form, but I see this every season.
on TF2 Easy. They, they maybe have a couple bad games at the start, but then now they'll improve towards the end of the, uh, the season. So I don't think you can count them out yet. And in the end of the day, they did win that map. And that's all that really matters. They got their two points. Uh, they'll be okay for that. But our next map, Granary. Yeah, I'd be interested. What, as we say, soldiers again going to be pretty important. Uh, everyone showing up so far. But, you know, we talked about Nubby before the game. Got a, a couple of really important kills on June uh, at various points, particularly, you know, the last kind of last five minutes of the uh, regular time and then one big one in the Golden Cap as well. So looking for Nubby again to step up on this map. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think maybe, I think you have to have a lot of discipline on Granary. Um, and why, what you see a lot of the time is those super good set plays on mid um, and those plays going into second and last a lot of the time is what really, really matters. And uh, I've watched a decent amount of uh, of TF2 Easy, especially uh, at some of the VODs back in season 36, which was a while ago, um, but it's still the, uh, the Josh Brain. And they are very, very good. TF2 easy on this map. They seem to have really well coordinated bombs with Josh and Nubby on these mids that always seem to get good impact. And then Morale always seems to, you know, be really good around his medic denying these bombs. And then Gazi is always such such a like, clutch factor, um, it feels like. And then they have plays that I still don't see any other teams do uh, going into Granary second, especially on their sack waves. Uh, we'll see if they decide to do any of that this game, but I would not be surprised if TF2 easy managed to dominate this map a little more. Possibly. I mean, they've they've got a lot of options. You know, we've seen in the past, Josh likes to use crits at times on this granary map. We've seen, uh, you know, they've always got Gazi Pyro. He is a Pyro made by trade, effectively. So it, it is a map where, you know, Gullywash is a map where Pyro works. And this is a map where we've seen it uh, be used quite effectively at times, particularly towards that second point. I think seven... Uh, Innovated that quite successfully, so maybe they'll pull that out as well. No battalions this season, but we saw them both teams try to use a conch here and there. Maybe we'll see a, a conch. I think yeah, this is a great map for banners. Uh, so conch could be big, even buff banner. You know, people don't seem to like the buff banner too much at the top level, probably just because it doesn't have that uh, that kind of passive benefit, and it. it just take a little bit longer than the conch to build up but you know if you're sitting around for quite a while in those choke points you're able to build up the buff battery it can be a very very explosive difference maker yeah i definitely think especially on these last holds and last pushes we're definitely going to see uh see some conches but yeah, as you said we do have no battalions backup is banned from this season vote from uh you know the prem players decided against it and i have to kind of agree with them it's quite dull uh last season and then especially in lan where um we saw we saw witness really really pull out the uh, the seven gimmicks and just uh, play super passive with banners so they decided this season uh, you know what well, we need to change we want faster paced games and i think you know it's definitely going to help here especially on granary uh, but i think this conch can be super super good that you know being able to get extra health from just shooting people uh can really like clutch up in a in a fight so i think i would see it more maybe from attackers even I think it would be a great play just to try to constantly spam, build up that banner, uh, and then push in and take a trade and then use it at the end. Uh, just try to get that tiniest of advantages. I think it's probably going to be the play here. Yeah, definitely. I think it is a map that, as we say, really uh, plays towards that because you're not doing as many fancy rocket jumps. You haven't got these really high skyboxes other than on mid, really. Uh, but particularly you know, towards the second... Uh, around the second point, there's just so much just spam coming down from your soldiers, so much spam for your demo as well that it gives you an opportunity to build up the banner and you know hopefully one of the team or both both the teams try try it try to find some utilization for it because you know otherwise at times granary could be a little bit slow but you know both the teams have been really making the effort on that that last game to push when they they have opportunities. We'll just have to see how the pacing goes. Hopefully, it's, a, it's uh, reasonably fast. Oh, you say that, but we are on uh, on Granary, uh, also known as the 7CP map. So, uh, potentially not 
Um, I just want to say congratulations to Morale for managing to do that jump off and drop down uh, much before Ron's. I saw we had the cow on him for a long time. <laughs> and now he's just given up. He's been defeated by uh, by that jump. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's, just, it's known as a 7 CP map, so it can be very slow. Um, but, you know, I, I like the idea of the Crits Creek, as you were saying earlier. I think Crits Creek could come out and be really, really big here. Um, why, don't, why don't we give our score predictions here, Dave? Uh, I'll go first. I think a lot more dominant from TF2 Easy. I think I'm slightly, if I'm with chat, yeah, chat is voted quite heavily in the favour of TF2 Easy, and I would agree with them. I think it might even be something like a 5 2 uh, towards TF2 Easy, quite honestly, on this bat pick. Ooh, I don't know about that. I think based on everything I've seen, I don't have too much data in terms of this map to go on, but based on everything I've seen so far from the season, League of Shadows have impressed me a lot, so I'm actually going to back for them, and I think it's going to be 3-1. 3-1? Oh, we are, we are turning the tables here uh, from first map. But yeah, I do agree. They've been playing you know, out of their mind, but I just think maybe... Uh, I don't know, the, ex the experience on TF2 easy. I just, I don't know. I've seen them play this map in the past and I've always been very impressed and I don't I don't expect it to be to be any different here. But as you were saying, we haven't seen this map from uh, from either of these teams, so it's going to be fresh, realistically. Uh, we don't know too much about, you know, what's going to be happening here. One thing I do know is that Frenchies traditionally really, really like this map and having those two French soldiers is uh, pretty big from the League of Shadows side. The, uh, I was... The other thing is, obviously, they've got the French demo and Delhi, and the demo is very, very important on this map, possibly even more so than the soldiers, just because I think it's one of these maps where you can get caught out like a little bit more. You have to play a little bit different compared to most of the other five CPs. Uh, so, you know, if one demo is like completely dominating, particularly if they're a little bit faster at mid, it, it really does like make a huge difference in terms of how the pace of the game goes yeah, absolutely if on this map if you fail your rollout even slightly that just gives the other demo so much more space he, if you uh if you roll out top he can just trap your top if you roll out lower he's got that pack traps and you just gotta wait so much longer to try to get hills on uh from your medic and then you're just kind of waiting around and slowing everything down it's just just really not ideal but i don't think either of these uh demos will be doing that i think they're they're both relatively <laughs> competent at this point. Um, but, you know, if we do see a bit of a, a flump-looking uh, uh, game, then, yeah, could be an issue. I don't know if these guys know the new rule, but I think it's 10 minutes between each map, so they uh, they better start hurrying up uh, getting into this server. Otherwise, someone's going to be able to claim a default win. Yeah, I can't, can't imagine that will ever be enforced in a Premier Fistral, but we'll, we'll have to see, I think. At least in principle, it's nice to have it because, you know, we have ha have seen a lot of teams recently you know, icing people out, taking a long time between rounds, and it's it's not what you want to see from a a, a spectator. What if you you can't respect the players? They want to get there, uh, get ready and be ready to go. But it looks like they are finally ready to go in this second map of Granary. Yeah, again, as I did say, last map, we are back again. TF2 Easy versus League of Shadows in your 6v6 Premiership Autumn 2022 season. We will be rolling out on this first mid. Uh, looks like, actually, Delhi is quite a lot slower onto this high ground, however. Doesn't seem to matter because there was no traps for him there. They are just both taking it slow here. So he's set up for these bombers here. Early bomb does come in onto June, and actually there's both soldiers in. They do manage to pick him up. Uh, between Nubby and Josh, and now Dro tries to go in for a last ditch effort, but can't quite manage to find anything. Now it's really only Roms on a sliver of health, and Zoe left alive. And that is so, so clean from TF2 easy there, uh, Dave. Yeah, it looks like a counter mid from League of Shadows. Looked up, you know, Dro was waiting a while in Garage for a play that never come, and uh, June ended up dying before he was even able to get a bomb in and then Ron's had to bomb in super super late, it was desperate stuff. So they were obviously expecting something different from TF2 Easy and TF2 Easy pulled a different kind of mid out of the bag and, and nailed it and now they have that full advantage. 
Yeah, this is what I was saying about them earlier, having these set mids. This is this is exactly why I think this one fake bomb in isn't actually a fake bomb and the second bomb comes in when no one's looking. But that doesn't matter right now as it is going to be TF2 Easy's uh, position to try to move in. They've got about a 50% advantage and the Uber does come straight in. Onto Nasboy, they are going to be taking the rest on morale, trying to get that sentry gun out, but it's lasting so long. Eventually, it goes it's down here, and a lot of aggression coming out from these soldiers, but Josh is going to be taken down. Gazi and morale, so no scouts left either. And now it's only Nubby left. That was a that was a very very fail last push there from uh, TFT. Yeah, they ended up trying Ooh, to fight a like heavy. Oh. To fight, they ended up trying to fight a heavy in the far back left corner of the point when they could have just focused the demo and played the point. It was really, really strange stuff. But uh, nicely held from League of Shadows. Now they have an opportunity to use this Uber to move it in towards mid. We've seen morale up on the sniper. He is a famously a long-time Highlander sniper made from back in the day. Very, very proficient on this class. Uh, I think they're probably aware it's a possibility they're trying to you know, deal with any kind of soldier or anything. He's still there. He sees the medic oh, he and gets he a gets drop. a drop. Oh no, that's not what you want yet. Yeah, I was going to say June managed to get over for free here. And just there was so much extra aggression from the side of TF2 Easy. Just not letting them in for free. And then they had to let. And June had to uh, to walk back straight into that sight line. And Morale is not going to miss one of those. Yeah, they're so worried about the possibility of a soldier coming in, hiding on the lab stickies all over Choke. And they just weren't fully aware of the possibility of that sniper in the forward spawn and that has really really turned things around now and as you say 100% up for uh, TF2 easy they're looking to walk in the right hand side here with Nazboy taking the Uber in. Yeah same Uber as last time gun goes down much earlier in June actually eats a pipe there so there's going to be no heals for League of Shadows the Uber's fade is now but Bronze and Delhi have both gone down into this fight it's only really this heavy you can do a huge amount of aggression here they do have Flick up being a little bit of a nuisance on this high ground, but Zoe just going to be focused down. And actually, as I say, this Dwoe gets a, a perfectly timed spawn, gets two picks, but I don't think it's going to matter here if TF2 easy do manage to get this round with those soldier spawners. Yeah, just about enough. Better execution, making sure they got the picks. They, this time, all chased together, all focused the same things. And, you know, despite the heavy doing a lot of work at the, the end of that, the three picks were was enough to, for them to work with and nicely converted. Yeah, absolutely. Just well played there from TF2 Easy. Learned from their mistakes last time, and June catching that pipe was, I think, really the difference maker there. And that fight, but we are coming to this mid again. That's why we're playing this very passively this time. Uh, Delhi again on the high ground here. Josh going into. I was going to say he was going into garage, but he decides to back out here, playing it very slowly. And the big bomb comes in here from Duo. Does look like he wants to commit or take some eyes, but oh, morale goes down and. So do Dwo and Ron, so no soldier aggression from the side of League of Shadows. June is just having to dance around on a sliver of health, trying to do anything they can to try to live. Nubby does eventually get the pick, so he couldn't quite find those last shots. And now TF2 Easy managing to bunker down, uh, keep Auto alive. Really well played from them at the uh, the very end of that fight. Just Nubby coming in so clutch in these fights. Yeah, the... That kind of Gazi, Nazboy, Auto Blob at the moment is unassailable. The, the soldiers, the, that French duo of Duo and Ronza, trying to find bombs, they're trying to find something onto them, but they're not quite in sync and they're, they ended up just taking way too much damage, not able to land perfectly onto Auto, and it's they're really struggling right now. Yeah, that is an unfortunate truth. The soldiers, I think, just being a bit of the difference is here. Um, on this mid, Rons and Duo just not quite comfortable uh, with what exactly they want to do and not quite in time with their team. The Uber does come out on this left-hand side onto Natboy. He's going to get that sentry gun down here. And now there's just huge soldier bombs onto every single player on this right-hand side. And as that's going on, Gazi just allowed on the point for free. Yeah, really, really nice. Just going deep, deep into spawn. There's, I mean, there's a heavy getting frags. There's a, a medic they had to clean up. But with so much pressure down, Everyone pinned back, it was just easy for Gazi to stand at the point. No one there to block him, so again, really nice execution. Yeah, that's all you need is just to count that point. I think they just need to kind of realise only your shadows. It's just so simple, just count the point. 
Uh, Delhi does roll out through choke here, so mixing up on this mid a little bit. An early bomb in from Dwo actually managed to get Nasboy. Does trade his life, but that's a really good early pick. There's a lot of aggression got there from the side of TF2 Easy, but Delhi actually goes down to a very aggressive soldier. June being chased so deep, but they do manage to clutch up and get those picks from Rao. They got his medic out on that fight, knew it was not worth it to uh, to commit to it. They were already back on last. So we'll be having this full, uh, this full Uber for this last one, which is... Uh, you know, a difference we uh, we haven't seen quite yet in this game is uh, an Uber being on last as well. Yeah, nice uh, nice attempt there from TF2 Easy. They obviously knew they'd lost Nazboy, so they wouldn't be able to win a, pro a protracted fight. But what they did is they immediately turned it around, immediately made it into a, a, almost a little sack wave. They just run back, kept control of their Uber. Didn't get the, the frag onto June, but uh, a very, very nice idea at least. Yeah, and that didn't seem to matter because they've just managed to get a uh, second for pretty much free here. There was just a little bit of spam coming in early from Nas Boy, um, and then the soldiers coming in from top just managed to take that space, managed to take uh, take those picks. But as I'm saying all this, there's a fight going out in yard. The Ubers are traded on both sides. Looks like the aggression is a little better for TF2 Easy as they managed to find uh, two early picks here. And this could be uh, them converting into middle. Actually, it was even free, so even worse. June having to run, but Nubby is in behind here. They need to be really careful of this. Doesn't quite manage to find that pick as June left the opposite direction. It's still being a nuisance in here. This is just allowing so much Ooh. aggression to be taken by TF2 Easy. But Morale and Nubby going down. That's going to be the end of the fight. And actually, League of Shadows, well, they might want to find it. They've got to be careful of Josh up here. Does go in for a counter sack. Manages to get runs from that play. And that might be all they needed to hold on just for a second. It does look like TF2 oh, Easy. Oh. Really nice serve from also to get out of there. He's going to get the health back on while his team is crumbling around him. Uh, but I think he's going to survive. Nubby's low, Auto's low, they're running back to last. Gazi might get fried. No, he escapes as well. So they're having to run back, they're having to give up space, but they are keeping those important classes alive just about. And yeah, it's going to be Delhi looking to pressure forward, uh, getting some spam down towards. That's boys now nice and healthy. Auto is still very, very low. I don't see exactly where he took damage from, but the moment also is. Uh, but coming back to health now, they're trying to move in through uh, the lunchbox area. Actually, heals from June up in there with the double soldiers, just allowing them to provide a little bit more spam than they uh, otherwise would be able to do without that he'll be but actually it's going to be Rod's jumping in it's so much damage that it gets the force out of water and it seems Steven has departed so it's going to be a solo cast at least briefly for now as it's going to be actually uh, a force coming out it's going to be Flick taking it in towards Nazboy get, gets buffeted away uh, they got the force very easily there. There's, they've got a frag onto Zoe as well. Flick goes down as well, and a post super situation. Very nice for Tim to easy. Rod's getting buffeted low as well. Gets picked up by a long range shot from Nubby, and now Tim to easy can walk in towards mid. Uh, Duo is going to get caught, so everything suddenly turning around, going in Tf 2 easys favour. Uh, Uber's in their favour as well, actually 70% versus 50, so 20% out is going to be difficult to make that uh, happen perfectly as Rods tries to shut down the aggression. Both soldiers flying in now towards Delhi. Josh picked up nice and early. Nubby does get himself out there with some nice rocket jumps. Uh, but at the moment, just, uh, it's, you know, they're just chilling. They're just trying to throw the soldiers in, not either not aware of the 20% ad or not looking to utilize it, but June at least has settled out and now has the Uber in hand. They're trying to move in towards mid here actually to whoa, getting some spam down. Ron's finding a big bomb in but not really landing on anyone and very, very nicely kited by Auto. And the the combo here from TF2 is not going to take too much damage. And yeah, TF2 easy. Uh, just chilling at the moment. Yeah, oh my god. Josh takes a ton of damage. There's actually going to be just traded in, and Morale's going to find Delhi. Is going to uh, Delhi going to be fully dropped out of that Uber? Not going to be flush out to him. They sense blood in the water. They sense the demo pick. They can start to make it happen. Rons is playing around towards the point. 
uh, just trying to plug anyone in, but Morale's there, and of course Nazboy is there as well. Ron's again peeking in, does get the pick on Nazboy, but gets traded out for it. Delhi's quite low as well, there's a couple, there's one pick, now two picks in TF2 Easy's favour. They can continue to press this advantage, continue to press the picks that they do have. Nubby finding the high ground, finding a bomb down onto June, finds the frag onto the medic. Delhi going very, very low, cleaned up by Gazi, and that's going to be a third round here for TF2 Easy. Just a great a little bit of coast-to-coast -coast pushing, and now a third round. Okay, hopefully Steven will be back soon. Hello, I return. I'm very sorry for that. I have seen it's a free zero though towards uh, TF2 Easy there, so obviously missed quite a uh, quite a round here. But we are onto this uh, this fourth mid here. Nasboy opting to roll out right side here, taking quite a lot of spam quite early on from Delhi to take this high ground. Actually, go down here, but the bombs are coming in from the soldiers of TF2 Easy, easily taking down uh, June here. And now it's just the stragglers. Uh, from the side of the League of Shadows trying to get it done here. These scouts trying to get very aggressive onto Auto. And actually taken down very low morale. Actually taken out. Auto manages to get the uh, the head hill, uh, kill and save his life there though. So that will be another round towards TF2 Easy. These soldiers are doing so much. Yeah, very, very nice for them taking control of the mid. <laughs> I thought for a minute that the soldiers were going to get caught out, stuck on mid with not enough health. But uh I think, I think it was, was it Morale, the scout, just did enough in that kind of 1v2 uh, that Auto was able to clutch it out with a nice little head kill and now again, once more, 100% uber advantage for TF2 Easy. See, it's looking very, very rosy for them right now. Yeah, but Libra Shadows don't want to give this up for free. They're already uh, already being you know quite aggressive here, keeping these soldiers quite close. There's very aggressive traps, but from Delhi, they haven't spotted quite yet. I'd be quite surprised because seen these traps uh, a number of times from them. Just getting in so deep on any second these traps could kill Auto. And actually they can do like no damage from that distance it seems. Uh, they do take down Rons as well so they got him fairly for free but they have given League of Shadows Uber here. Yep, I think they'll be you know, moderately happy with that. They've got control of second now allowed to pressure in. Morale's already found some space in through the right. Delhi is really, really wary. Gazi's going to run in, finds a pick on to Delhi. Uh, but is cleaned up, but yeah, space bomb coming now, in. But... Gotta be careful. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, June was just taken down quite low there from a bomb, and that's why it was, uh, if you got one a little pipe or a little sticky in there, would have gotten so much. Actually, there's some stickies above the point here. Uh, that was eventually dead them, but again, they just are not giving this up for free here. Nubby coming in so aggressive, taking the classic Nubby trade in here. He just loves to come in, take this, make them overextend, jump behind here. Um, we'll see if League of Shadows can do something here. There is a fight being taken and Rons actually wins it out, but it's traded up uh, by Gazi there. So now three players down and the, uh, the aggression just comes straight in for TF2 Easy. Focusing down one target after another. And they do get that fourth round, looking so, so dominant. Yeah, they're, uh, they're blasted right now. They are going hard and there's really no let up at the moment for League of Shadows. They can't really get any from going there, having a moment here and there, but then suddenly Nubby just, you know, looks like it's an easy frag onto Nubby, but it spends a long time and Rods is cleaned up, and, you know, every time there's a, a couple of picks, or, you know, even a single pick, TF2 is making the most of it. Yeah, Delhi gone back to try and test it. He's playing on top quite happily. Josh comes in for this notorious high bomb, gets a nice early rock onto Delhi. Oh, I thought he was going to die from full damage there, but managed to live here. Uh, some equal trades coming out, but oh, both soldiers going down and June going down as well there. League of Shadows just crumbling, flick the last alive to try to win this 4v1. I have a sneaking suspicion he might not. Yeah, he is. He's not really seeing anything. He's not seeing any of these four. He's in behind his no. <laughs> Trying to bait Nubby into him. Nubby knows that he can take the fight if he needs to. Just gets enough damage down. And he actually gets the kill as well somehow around the corner. Uh, I was, was going to say, just a clean little rocket uh, towards him. Duo is in behind. Uh, actually in front, sorry. I'm getting my... Um, my left and right is confused a little bit here, uh, but TF2 Easy now already trying to aggress here onto last. The Uber does come out early, straight onto that gun from Nasaboy, no messing around. And now June just in this corner, can't do anything. The rest of League of Shadows 
taken down to quite low health. There's a couple players that can do a thing or two, but I think TF2 easy probably take this slow, getting these early picks, only able to get morale. It's making time, but these spawners just have such uh, such long timings onto them. And now Natsboy just traps the point. They can pretty much stand AFK on it. And they will be winning that so, so cleanly. It's a clean 5-0 from them. A completely different story from what we saw last time. Yeah, a completely different uh, map, really. And just the tail of the map was, as you say, a really big change up. Absolutely dominant mid fights from TF2 Easy. And yeah, they had one push on last that they failed right at the start. And after that, I think every other push was successful. They just, just every time found so much space, pinned them back in the spawn and you know, played the cap time once it was available. You know, if they had to get kills and had to play off the picks, they, they made the most of them as well. So, you know, two big departments on Granary in the mid mid fights and the last conversions and TF2 is in there both of them. So that's that's why it ended up 5-0. Yeah, much, much desired win from them. Uh, yeah, I think we had a little mess in here saying logs, but I think we kind of know what it's going to be. I would not be surprised if it's soldier nets and craziness like that. Uh, but do you just have any uh, any final thoughts here, Dave? Uh, not really. I mean, obviously, you know, 5-1. It ending up not the, not the end of not the you know not the worst result at the end of the day for League of Shadows, but TF2 easy back on track. So set set up well for you know continuation of this season, and it's looking to be a really really good one because everyone is turning up so far this season. Absolutely, I think this is maybe a map they want to be taken into one of their games against uh, you know Witness, the winners of last season. I think this will be about their comms on. Uh, I have just peek to the logs the one stat i want to say is uh auto dead one time uh <laughs> so take that as you will yeah i mean playing medic on granary you you often feel like there's going to be a threat of that double soldier bomb coming in can kill you anytime you yeah you didn't even have to play very baity you just played you know around his demo around his scout and you know the whether it was him playing well or uh a little bit of a, a misplays from you know, Rons and Dwayne not been able to find those bombs. Uh, yeah, he did a good job overall also for the rest of the game. And, you know, that's what you want to see on Granary. If you're not dying on the mid fights and not really dying much elsewhere, it's going to be a lot easier for your team. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think just the soldiers playing playing really, really well and then also just playing around the scouts so well. They just had like... Um, but I think, you know, League of Shadows moving into their uh, their gains, probably going to be banning Granary quite quickly, but we did see absolute um, craziness from both teams on uh, on Gully Wash. So I think, you know, you definitely got to still watch out for League of Shadows. They've just, they'll probably come out from this game, you know, knowing they've learned something, knowing they were the underdog of this game and then going into, you know, their next game with, uh, you know, with some knowledge. Uh, is again Comedy Shorts of Gaming their next game. Uh, so should be a close one again. Uh, that those that team coming up from the Premiership qualifiers, but many faces uh, you might know from that. But that doesn't matter too much right now. I don't know if you have anything you want to shout out quickly, uh, day before we end this. Uh, shout out to you coming in at the last second uh, and then giving me a brief moment of solo casting as well. So thanks for that. And obviously, shout out Dun Dun underscore to it. Great work by the camera. Yeah, always happy to oblige. And as always, thank you to our wonderful Dotter underscore. Uh, one of the few people uh, still uh, still able and happy to produce. So, you know, we've always got to give a big appreciation. And then, yeah, today for having a great cast uh, was much enjoyed. But I think that is all from us. But do stay tuned, stay followed. I believe we have another Premier game. Uh, tomorrow we do. I'm not sure if it'll be casted, but there'll definitely be more Premier games to come. So do stay tuned uh, for this 6v6 Premiership season. So that's bye from me. Bye from me.